Corporation booth here. I'm Brian. You know me. Uh, you guys might know Todd Brown, too. Well, here's a great new kit from our great new partners at Very Fire. This is a 1 700th scale kit of the never built Montana, the battleship, U.S. battleship Montana. You might say, oh, it just looks like an Iowa class. Well, yeah, it kind of looks Iowa classy. Uh, but look, you got more tarts than, uh, than you can shake a stick at here, each with. Uh, uh, three guns each. And those, since Todd's right here, I'll ask him. These are 16 inch? Yeah, those are all 16 inch. 16 inch guns there? Todd's behind the they camera, as you well know. for an 18 inch, but that was a later version. All right, well, this is a great detailed kit, photo etched. Uh, Todd went to the, the, the hard task of putting all that beautiful etching on there. I shouldn't say hard task because it's an easy to build kit, isn't it, Todd? <laughs> yes. Now, what's, what's the story with this? The, they used the hull to make the Midway eventually? Yeah, for the Montana class, they designed the Montana class, but. Montana Battleship never went into production, right. but they ended up using the hole they designed for the Montana oh, the design, class. Right. So the hole, that red part you see at the bottom of the ship, that is the hole they used, ended up using for the Midway class. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So yeah, Todd did a great job on this kit, and there's more to come from our, our friends at Verifire. They're even talking about doing a 1 3 50th version of the Montana, oh which should be pretty big. Um, but the next stop from them is going to be the Louisiana, which was a Montana sister ship. Uh, and Verifire also has lots of uh, great photo etch detail sets, uh, the wooden deck sets. Now, the original release of this kit didn't come with a wooden deck set, but it is coming separately. Uh, but Todd went ahead and put that on there, too, and it looks great. So yeah, great stuff from Verifire, and thanks again to our buddy Todd. Here we are looking at a very, very interesting new upcoming release from our great partners, TACOM. Um, they do, uh, as you probably well know, lots of 135th great armor stuff. And this is a new release coming hopefully towards the end of, the de of December in 116th scale. This is the Type 94 Mame Sencha bean tank, or small tank. Tankette, I think, is why we usually say it in English. Uh, and we don't have the whole tank here yet, but what we have is a uh, test shot of the turret and uh, of one of the figures that is going to come with the kit. This is the, you know, the, the tank commander riding proudly, head held high in the turret of his tankette. And you can see some great detail on there. Again, this isn't the finished product. This is still a work in progress. Uh, but you can see by my hand, this is the turret. Uh, it's a tankette, so even in 1 16th scale, it's not going to be very big. Uh, the whole tank itself will probably be even smaller than a 1 35th King Tiger, which is, of course, a huge tank. Uh, but let me bring his buddy up here. So it's going to come with a guy riding in the tank with some different uh, outfit on there. And then uh, we've got the standing version of the guy outside. And again, this is still a work in progress. It's not quite done. But uh, you can see these are actually they brought him here because we're working uh, with uh, Mr. Yoshikawa, who's a, a Japanese tank expert here in Japan. And he's been collaborating with Takom, helping them out, giving them pointers, uh, sharing lots and lots of uh, photographs. Uh, from World War II about these tanks and getting them to get all the details right because Takom always wants to do it right and they're doing a great job. So yeah, 1 16th scale Type 94 tankette coming from Takom. We're hoping in December. Price is not decided yet, but again, it's not going to be that huge even in 1 16th, so it shouldn't be that expensive. So please keep your eyes out for that great new release from Takom. Some more great releases from Takom. Now everything you see here has just come out. These two Merkavas over here, uh, we just got them in the other day. They are on sale everywhere now. Merkava uh, Mark I and a Mark I Hybrid, which includes some parts from the two added to the one. Uh, look it up on Wikipedia. You can find out all about it, but great detail on there. You can see the uh, they supplied us with this uh, the, the chassis and the running gear there, so you can see how great that detail is. Uh, and another great success for Takom was the M3, M3 medium tank series. We got the Lee here and uh, the British Grant there. Uh, these were both very popular kits. They came out last month. Uh, and they're both doing great. The Merkavas are on sale for 6,500 yen, and uh, the Lee's, the M3 series is for 5,800 yen. Um, so, all, and then the rest of the stuff, all of these are already uh, on sale now from our great partners at Takom. So be sure to check out all the Takom greatness available at Hobby Link Japan. Big surprise from our partners at uh, Flyhawk. Uh, Flyhawk famous for their great series of 1 700th uh, uh, naval vessels and photo etch sets and whatnot. Uh, we didn't know about this until just a couple of days ago. The 1 700th Prince of Wales, uh, a great uh, battleship, uh, British battleship from World War II. Uh, we've got some interesting sprues lined up here on the boards here. We, and again, we didn't know about this, so it's a Kaijo Hapyo, an announcement here at the show. We don't know the price, we're not sure of the release date yet. Uh, but not only that, we've got some other things coming here. The cruiser Königsberg, 1940, 
But the big surprise also, and we only have posters, is a, a Bismarck, 1941 version, yeah, also in 1700 scale, of the German battleship Bismarck. Again, we don't know the um, price or when exactly it's going to be on sale, but it's nice to know. And down here we get the Duke of York, another British battleship, coming soon. So lots of great stuff for 1700 shipbuilders coming from our good partners at Flyhawk. Looking at some great stuff from our partners at uh, Kajiga Models, uh, another great company that makes wonderful 1700 scale ships. Uh, they only have one out so far, and that is, as you can see here, it's been out for a little while now, is the Japanese battleship Congo. Or this is actually the cruiser Congo, uh, when it was first made in 1914 by the Vickers Company in England. Uh, they're going to do all the Congo uh, sister ships as well, as you see here. Uh, this one's coming out uh, later this month or maybe next month. This is the Hie. So the Congo class ships included the Congo, the Hie, and also coming from Kajika will be the Haruna, and then finally will be the Kirishima, all coming in 1700 scale. Fantastic detail from our partners at uh, Kajika Models. Well, we've been waiting for this one for a while, folks. I know a lot of you have, too. Uh, it has been announced about more than a year ago, I guess. And finally, it's almost here. This is the 172nd scale uh, B2A Spirit Stealth Bomber from Model Collect. Uh, we're very happy to have a test shot. Again, this isn't the final product. This is a test shot. Um, our, our agent there even said some of these parts are from older test shots. So it's just kind of taped together just to give people a, si a sense of the size and also the sense that it's actually coming. Uh, here it is, and it's beautiful. You see you got the panels removed here. Um, I'll try to gingerly pick it up and show you some of the detail on the bottom. So we see here, so you got full Bombay detail. Uh, this is still a work in progress in the front wheel well. But landing gear. Presented. You got some bombs in there. So yeah, lots of good detail. They're working, uh, working hard to get the panel lines right. So Model Collect is really working hard to make this uh, the most accurate model of the B2 that we will have. And as you can see, as I'm fumbling with it now, it's pretty big. You know, my, again, as I always say, my hand's pretty big, but you can see how big this is going to be, even compared to my big old mitts here. So yes, yeah, 72nd B1 bomber. B2. Yes, did I say B1? You know why I said B1, because that's coming too. There's the B1B is also coming, as are B52 uh, Gs and Hs. And we're, we're not sh completely sure, but we're pretty sure we're going to see a B52D in the future from our good buddies uh, at Model Collect. So this is going to be their first big release, their first aircraft release uh, in any scale. Uh, so they're looking forward to doing a lot of big, great things in 172nd. So far, U.S. bombers, but who knows what's going to come in the future. Oh, yeah, you can see down here, we got the, there's the B-52G. Forgot about that. One more surprise at the bottom, B-52H we got there. And then the B-1B Lancer. And if you want to see something really good, it's really going to be big, you can go down here. It's not an aircraft, but it's going to be a 72nd P-1000 Latte. The uh, what if, well, not what if, I guess they were actually thinking about doing this, the Germans in World War II, using a turret from the Scharnhorst, I believe. So that's going to be a very big model in 172. So a lot of big plans from, uh, from Model Collect, a lot of big models coming, and we're looking forward to selling them. All right, a big release coming from our buddies at Airfix, one of our great partners uh, from the UK, is the 72nd scale FG1 Phantom with the Spey engines. Uh, Phantom, people love Phantoms all over the place, and we've had a lot of uh, the US versions and other versions, but now we're going to, it looks like we're going to have a nice series of British Phantoms from, appropriately enough, a British company, Airfix. Uh, so we got, uh, I'm not sure if these, I think these are pretty much final versions because these should be shipping out uh, within the next month or so. We're expecting an October release on this. Uh, and these aren't all the runners either. There's no cockpit parts and some of the landing gear aren't there. But yeah, the detail looks fantastic. Looking forward to putting this one together myself. Airfix 172nd FG1 Phantom. Lots of great stuff coming from our buddies at Tiger Model. We got a, a selection of these ERC-90 variations, diesel engine, gasoline engines. Uh, also these Panard uh, VBL armored cars and trucks. But the big news from Tiger this time is this. This has been announced a little while ago, but it's the first time we've seen it uh, in the plastic, so to say. So uh, it can do one version is the U.S. Navy, but it's a combat boat 90, uh, also known as the CB90. I believe it's a Swedish design. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I know you will. Uh, but a lot of countries use this. It's like a, a, uh, a combat boat, basically. Uh, we don't have all the, the gunnery and stuff on here like you see in the picture there. Uh, but it apparently can be very heavily armed. It can be lightly armed for the fast ingress and outgress and uh, getting troops into where they need to be quickly. Uh, apparently it's a very versatile boat. 
So that's cool stuff from Tiger. This is 135th scale, coming soon. We don't know the price yet. Now you come up here a little bit, we've got some older releases, but a brand new release here. As you might remember, we had the uh, Leopard 2 Revolution 1 tank, which is a, what was a uh, proposed upgrade for uh, the Leopard 2 tank. And we got a follow-up to that, the Leopard 2 Revolution 2 is also coming, and we don't know the release date or the price on that yet, but it should be comparable to the one which was uh, 9,800 yen. So yeah, boats and armor, all coming from our buddies at Tiger Model. Now in collaboration uh, with Model Collect is a brand new Japanese company called Rocket Models. And as you can see here, they have these very cool walking tanks based on actual uh, German designs, but with the addition of these uh, crazy walking things on there. Uh, to start out, these are all 172nd scale. You got an E70, E75 based uh, with a Rheintochter missile. Uh, the long cannon on this one, I think this is a 57 millimeter anti-aircraft and uh, the twin twin 88s, I think, or twin 128s. I'm not sure which ones those are actually. We can probably see it when, uh, when the things come around. Okay, 128s, right. And this is also a 128 millimeter gun there. But yeah, these are very interesting sci-fi, half reality, half sci-fi based tanks. Uh, coming from uh, Rocket Models in collaboration with Model Collect. And these are available at Hobby Link Japan. And coming in the spring of 2018 from Arsenal Model Group of the Ukraine, a 148 P63 King Cobra. This is the first time this aircraft has ever been kitted in 148 scale as an injection kit. Uh, they will be producing the P63C, the E, and also some post-war air racers in the colorful uh, markings that those wore. And coming from the Baltic, from the wonderful company Croco, a full resin kit of the M76 Otter uh, amphibious supply vehicle. This was used by the U.S. Marines throughout the 1950s and 1960s. Saw a lot of service in Vietnam as a patrol vehicle also. And again, this is the first time this vehicle, uh, I believe, has ever been kitted in 172nd scale.